Dallas Cowboys owner and general manager Jerry Jones asked this question during negotiations with running back Ezekiel Elliott last summer, when have I not gotten a deal done? The answer is a little different this time around. Quarterback Dak Prescott's agent Todd France and the Cowboys have been working on a long-term deal for close to 16 months. It was expected to be the richest in Cowboys history and one of the richest in the NFL. Instead, Prescott plans to play the season on the $31.4 million exclusive franchise tag, which he signed June 22. The sides cannot talk about a long-term deal again until the 2020 season ends, which means the talks are paused and nothing is solved. There is plenty of blame to go around for the impasse, but know this, this could be the beginning of a slow road to a divorce between the Cowboys and Prescott. Since the franchise tag designation has been in use, only two quarterbacks, Drew Brees in 2005 with the San Diego Chargers and Kirk Cousins in 2016 and 2017 with the Washington Redskins, played a season under the franchise tag. The Chargers had Philip Rivers, a first-round pick in 2004 after the Eli Manning trade with the New York Giants, ready to take over. The Redskins never loved Cousins or made him an offer worth accepting, leading to his departure in free agency for the Minnesota Vikings in 2018. The Cowboys have veteran quarterback Andy Dalton as Prescott's backup on a one-year deal along with Clayton Thorson, who spent last season on the practice squad, and Ben DiNucci, a 2027th round pick, on the roster. Most of the recent high-profile quarterback divorces in the NFL have involved veteran quarterbacks hitting the open market. Tom Brady, who turns 43 in August, left the New England Patriots for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after a 20-year run. Rivers, 38, signed a one-year deal with the Indianapolis Colts in March. In 2012, Peyton Manning was 36 when he signed with the Denver Broncos after missing the Colts' 2011 season because of a neck injury. The Colts took Andrew Luck with their first overall pick in 2012. Prescott, who turns 27 on July 29, is entering the prime of his pro career. He has outperformed expectations after being picked in the fourth round of the 2016 NFL Draft. So what happens now? Jones, the Cowboys' decision-maker, is in an unfamiliar position with his franchise quarterback. This didn't happen with Troy Aikman or Tony Romo. Jones kept both signed to long-term deals with the Cowboys well into their 30s. Since Aikman, the Cowboys have used a first or second round draft pick on a quarterback just once. Quincy Carter, out of the University of Georgia, was a second round selection, no. 53 overall, in 2001. The Cowboys used a first round pick in the 1989 supplemental draft on Steve Walsh. The Cowboys did scout the top quarterbacks in the 2016 draft, such as Jared Goff and Carson Wentz.